Yo, got people. Some, like, boxing gloves. <laughs> and I got some games over there that I can display. There's a whole shelf of uh, wrestling stuff over there. Dang. And then there's some there's my amiibo collection as well as the games in order to become there, king of the Emoto world with some Red Bull Bell has come to the human and, world and there's to a battle. dual disc the up human there who becomes his partner <laughs> is Kyo and uh, it's basically a much it's bigger room than the other one I have way more space in here like I, it's king. filled with stuff and I still have space to you know walk Let's around go, and uh, be able to yeah. reposition my yeah. camera and also the tripod I have for this camera it is a Sunpak 5555DLX. And the Sony camera that I have is a Sony... Uh, let's see. Dude. Sony, I don't know if, if it's ABC or if it's Handycam. Like, HDR CX405. Dude. <laughs> well, everybody knows what equipment you got right now, man. <laughs> I just started recording. <laughs> it doesn't matter. People will be able to see it anyway. I mean, it's coming out soon anyway. As long as I don't tell them what flat out happens in the video, or what the video is gonna look like with the face cam in it, like whether I'm using the layout or whether I'm not or whatever. <laughs> yeah, but dude, I'm playing Momoto battles, like Zatch Bell Momoto battles. You know me? Then I want you to tell me. My memory. Oh, um, there's an amiibo I bet you didn't know I had. What? In my opinion, I think he is one of, if not the rarest amiibo in existence, but it's this guy right here. I'm not too familiar with that. It was like all of like the, it's like, they're not monsters, but they're like, they're human hybrids or whatever, from like the Momoto world. Like, they're just called Momoto. So every crossbreed ever. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> like a typical freaking crossbreed story. <laughs> oh my god. But dude, like for... Keith from freaking Voltron. <laughs> yeah. So basically they're all fighting to become king. And it's like, humans have to get spell books and like order them around and stuff. So it's sort of like, you know, we all have to fight to become Momoto king. Fighting to become king. Scarred and awesome. <laughs> that reminds me of something else, doesn't it? I know, right? We literally have to... <laughs> <laughs> What is it with each and every story just being the same inspiration but told differently? Like, if you look about it, like, there's a million different ways to tell a story, but the, the different, like, default settings for the story, there's, like, four stories. Like, if you want to say originally, I know, not right? name the characters or not name the way the story is told, there's literally four stories ever told. It's so odd. It's sort of like mystical relics in order to get his wish granted. One person needs to be saved. One person wants to get stronger. One person fights with their sibling to become king. One person wants to be the king. One person turns evil. One person doesn't turn evil. Like one person's parent dies, or one person loses their planet, or whatever. Like this, there's like. There's different so different many stories that have that. The world, and then it's switched around, the characters are switched up, and it's told differently. It's so weird. It's like, it's like humans have to use the Momotos, but it's sort of like they're affected as well. It's like you destroy, you know, you destroy the Momoto spellbook, they're dead. Like, they're gone. They're like literally wiped from existence and stuff. And there's like a hundred of them. You want to know something? You know I'm actually looking at my TV so I can see what I'm doing right uh -oh. now because no. I have an HD8 plugged oh. in my Chromebook. Do you oh. want to know why? It's because I found that the HD mode works on my Chromebook. Wow. Yeah, but... <laughs> so I still salvaged it. But my screen still spider webbed at the top right. Yeah, but dude, the thing is, uh... Yeah, the main character is obviously Zatch because, you know, Zatch Bell. <laughs> but yeah, he just wants to be, like, Moto King, but it's like, he doesn't want to be a bad king. He wants to be a kind king, you know? <laughs> Pretty much, I want to be a monarch. <laughs> I want to be a monarch, but I want to be a good monarch, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> so prepare, because I am the bad guy. Be prepared for me to do bad guy things. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen the honest trailer? <laughs> oh my 
my god. Bro, <laughs> if Scar and Mufasa are the only male lions in the pride, who is Nala's father? I don't even know. <laughs> but man, it's so weird. It's... Half of Disney's <laughs> animal stories are pretty much incest. I'm legitimately... If you look at it. Hey, you guys. I'm legitimately you just playing this game know? because I'm getting Momoto Fury, like, for Christmas. So it's like, you know, you must be let me just do sorry. this and then follow it up with the sequel, you know? Oh, hey, um, you guys know about speaking stars? of this Christmas, no, there are a lot of uh, I, want to ask. I actually I have done you. some but unusual videos. One is a video is where I flat out did a world. whole vlog going throughout an entire day. So that's a really long vlog. And then another uh, is me reacting to the new CGI Street Fighter trailer, because season three for Street Fighter Five. um, they didn't do the silhouettes after one character reveal this time. What? They flat out showed everybody. Let me talk about something. The funny game news we have gotten this year. Oh my, it's an, it's amazing, bro. Like first freaking all, Blaze Blue. First of all, Dragon Ball Fighter Z, Street Fighter V, the arcade edition, okay, UV triggers, characters we've been wanting since the release of it, and then not only that, Blaze Blue cross tag battle. <laughs> Mega Man 11, even though it's not a fighting game, I'm still hyped. And then Soul Calibur 6. Oh my god, Soul Calibur 6, bro. Dude, my main? Bro, bro, whenever they taste it, like, the dude's just like, let me ask you guys something. Does your soul still burn? <laughs> and he leaves us with the trailer. And the dude. funny thing, you know the way they did the Sakura trailer and then the CGI trailer? Yeah. They showed the Sakura trailer first and it had the, c the silhouette. But then he's just like, is that, and they have like the Japanese, you know, the Asian accent going on there. He's like, is that really not enough? Mm -hmm. Dude. What do you think, Branka? <laughs> do you so think we should show them more? <laughs> and then they showed this full CGI thing. And the thing is, they did the thing at uh, every Capcom Cup where before they show the trailer, he goes, three, two, one. And the crowd just goes, sure you can. So, I ended up doing it with them. Bro, watching the Sakura trailer was enough to get me hyped, because we're getting the rep, uh, the Kasugano Residence, and then her new V-Trigger looks freaking amazing, both of them do, because now she can fire a Hadouken up and juggle it into a spinning Tatsu, where then she smacks you down the Oh ground. my god, and, um, it's a her second, her second one, or no, her first one, it's like, it's, oh god, it looks like a special to special cancel. Jesus like, Christ. It's so sick. And then it looks like Balrog's getting a nostalgia costume. And then when it showed Sakura's costume at the end, where it's got her battle, her story, and then her nostalgia. Bro! Two of her costumes are really love. Okay, I like her default, I like her default, like, esports commentator one. But the thing is, like, her battle costume, she's wearing freaking Ryu clothing, and she looks like, literally now, like a female Ryu. And then she's got the classic schoolgirl outfit. And then, when they showed that Blanca and Cody were coming back, I'm like, holy crap. They're putting Sagat as the last character in season three. They're really gonna milk him you all to year. Me all for no. all he's worth. What? And yeah, he's the last character coming out for season three. We got two new characters. Okay, so the returning characters that, uh, for this one are Sakura, Ronka, Cody, and then, um, oh, frick, there was four legacy. Oh yeah, and Sagat. And then we're getting two brand new characters in this game. One's like a magician of some sort, but we didn't see what he was. His name is Chi. And then, you know the character Ed? <laughs> yeah. We, we're getting a female uh, version of Ed. Her name is Falke, or Falk, or however you say her name, because mm -hmm. it's F-A-L-K-E. Folgers, the coffee. Falke. Freaking Folgers coffee. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, we're getting four legacy characters and two new characters. And, uh... Characters I'm most excited for Sakura at the number one spot, obviously. Me too. And then I like Blanca, Cody, and then I want to try Ball Game because I, I really like Ed. But the thing is, G, I'm not too interested in how he looks. And uh, you already know I didn't really like Sagat that much in SF. Oh, yeah. Because, tiger, uh, Tiger, well, uh, Tiger. There's one thing tiger. I'm not looking forward to when Sagat comes out, and uh, one word Tiger. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really not looking forward to people playing Saga and just go tiger, 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 uppercut tiger. I hate that. I hate it with a passion. I hate it more than Guile in this game. I actually liked Guile back in SF4. No. I liked 
liked him in SF4 because he wasn't impossible to freaking touch in SF4. Oh, yeah, it's true. only you could get past it in SF4. You, you, you time jumps well or you time a, a, a meter burn or something like that well and you can focus it in SF4. You can get the meter off of it in SF4. You know, in SF4, if you press focus on a fireball, you, you get meter off of it and you gain this stuff off of it. But in SF4 now, like, now in SF5, since we have characters who need to parry, like, if you don't kick, pick specific characters, Guile flat out wins because his pushback game is unbelievable. Dang. That pushback, though. Yeah, like, Guile's pushback game now is unbelievable because, like, you remember back then, as long as it was only one hit, if you press focus, you could gain... Like, you could focus, you would absorb the damage. You'd get, like, a little white health or, like, a little sub health or whatever you would call it. You know oh, what I'm talking yeah, about, right? Yep, that. <laughs> and then you could dash cancel. The fo You could focus attack, dash cancel, after you absorb the fireball. And the best thing is, you can regenerate the little small bit of damage you freaking took. And you also gain ultra meter off of it. Every character could do it as long as Sky did meter burn his boom. And then, but now, like, if you don't pick a specific character that can, you know, parry it, uh, like Akuma, or Ryu, or someone like that who can't, uh, parry your armors through it, you're perfect, because you can't get past it. You can't get past his zoning. He knows how to make it three freaking hits, and the worst part is, he doesn't need meter to make it three hits. What I wish they would do is they would make his V-skill a little bit slower, increase... If you want to know Gal, here's what you need to do. Nerf his V skill, like, make it so that way there's more startup. Oh, yeah, true. And then less active. Oh, God. Like, if he throws his V skill out there, and, but doesn't cancel it in the Sonic boom, don't leave the V skill out there as a small little projectile. If he does it, immediately throw a boom, boom, and it's gone. He uses it. And if he doesn't throw a boo immediately afterwards, right there it's gone. He can still cancel it. Give him the chance to cancel it. But make it so that way the Sonic boom doesn't go to three hits. Nerf it down to two hit booms. So that way we won't need Akuma's orange fireball to do it. And the thing is, the worst part, Akuma's orange fireball and Guile's B skill the Sonic boom cancel are different. Because oh, Guile's B skill the Sonic boom cancel, he can throw the B skill and oh, absorb the oh, fireball, and then he can still fire the boom afterwards. And if he times it right, he can B skill just as the thing hits, throw the boom, and then as he absorbs it, as he absorbs it, the boom still has one hit left. Dang. Like, make it so that way there's less active frames, so that way Guile can't just leave the boom out there, and, like, can't just leave his V-Skill out there, backdash once, and then it's gone. Like, throw the V-Skill out there, and if he does like immediately insane. the boom, which needs to be nerfed down to two hits instead of three, it's gone. He can't just use it and abuse it. If Guile wants to do it and then meter burn, yes, then it can be three hits, as long as it costs meter. Oh, God! Oh god, I just lost. <laughs> Time then, ran out. Like, also, one thing. <clears throat> Guile, uh, his jump in attack. Because what, okay, his V-trigger. When he throws one Sonic Boom, he needs more recovery, so he can't just throw a bunch of Sonic Booms, get a free jump in. Like, he can't just go V-trigger, throw a bunch of Sonic Booms, get a free jump in, or a freaking bunch of forward dashes. Because that's true. stupid. Like, it's literally like he goes V-Trigger, it's instant pushback. And I have recently started playing Balrog in Street Fighter V. Let me say this, please nerf his V-Trigger damage. Because, legit, guess what? One combo, and it's a true combo, Alex. It doesn't drop and it doesn't connect. What? Do you know that I found a combo that does dang well 50%? Dang wow. near 50%? It's like 40%. That is insane. For one combo. And it's so easy to pull off. You know why? Jump in. It's a jump in heavy kick. And then after you land, it's medium kick into V-trigger cancel. Hold back while you're doing it. And then uses charge punch button buffer so that way he gets to multiple punches in his charge function punch button. Right as the last punch hits, you can do double quarter circle forward into a super and it will connect as a full fluid combo. That's like, Balrog hits you, goes into V-Trigger, you're most likely dead. I even got a perfect 
on Ranked. Mm. Today. Ranked? This happened today. Against a freaking, um, who was it? Against a Nash. Dang. Typical Nash, too, because, like, they, people, <clears throat> they need to change these characters to where people can't play a typical playstyle with them. Because what are most players going to do? Go they're going to wait, and then they're going to rush in with Balrog, and when they do the full screen, like, the strong the heavy kick or heavy punch button after the charge motion, it's like you got to guess 50-50. Is it going to be a sweep, or is it going to be a punch that you duck into a throw or something? Yeah, that sounds good. If Balrog hits you, if Balrog hits you, there's going to be a V-trigger. Nerf this V-trigger damage, please, so that way if he hits me on V-trigger, I don't immediately die if he hits a super combo. Hey, Zatch, don't stare so much. Also, that's embarrassing? Colleen, can we please nerf that freaking move where she can go forward and parry? Like, if she goes forward, it's a free freaking parry. That's so annoying, because I've seen a lot of scrubs online who will legit go forward, and they'll use her move where she does a forward slash, and it's a free parry. <laughs> She'll, they'll use it most of the time. They will go in on it because they know I can't stuff it with a button. So I have to take the trigger, so I have to take the corner damage, I have to take the chip. Because I can't beat it with a button. If I try to beat it with a button, or beat it with a freaking special or something like that, she's gonna parry it, and I'm gonna get hit. Oh crap. <laughs> please. Like, please, please change how this works. And also, can we do, can we say one thing? Alex. Yeah. Can we not, can we not have his, uh, his, his, you know, where he does that thing where he does his arm stretch and he swings his arm Oh, around, yeah. Where he's like, I'm all warmed up. If he charges, can he please not get, like, can we please put a cap on the extra damage this pricker can have? Dang. God dang. Also, can we make it so that way if Cammy hits her uh, her combo, like can we nerf her damage or nerf her walk speed or nerf something about her? <laughs> oh because yeah, listen, true. Cammy, like she's so OP. Like, and I'm speaking as a Cammy player. She's so OP. Even I know that. I'm, I'm speaking as a Dante player in Marvel Infinite. Dante 100% deserve nerfs. I'm still salty though because don't do three to four nerfs per one move. Oh, yeah. but Cammy, oh my god, if, Dante. <laughs> Capcom, if you don't nerf Cammy, leave her alone completely. She doesn't need another buff. She's strong enough. You buffed her twice in a row from season one to season two. You buffed her during season one. You buffed her during season two. Do not buff her during season three. She doesn't need another buff. If you don't nerf her, then completely leave her alone. True, and then because just, you know. If, if they buff her, she's gonna be too strong, cause she has a lot of potential. All they have to do is just buff everybody else around her, so that, you know, nothing bad happens. Because they nerfed Urien, and he's nowhere near as strong as Cammy. Like, the worst thing Urien can do, what's the worst thing he can do? His forward heavy punch because it's an overhead. His forward medium punch, forward heavy punch target combo, which cancels into an Aegis. Okay? Hmm. He's got fireballs. He can use his arm. He has to successfully use his V skill. But most of the time, they can just get a jump in on you if you try to use his V skill. Unless you're fully far away, where you got a thing where they won't go in on you. V skill, and then you could go through projectiles. I came all the, way here because I heard oh, yeah. you were the worst thing about Urien is if he burns meter has his V-Trigger, or uses his V-Skill. Those are three very specific things. He has to not only have a third of his meter to burn it, since it's divided in thirds this time, not only has to have, does he have to have a meter to burn it, but he has to successfully get the super out. Not only does he successfully, like, he only armors a V, he only armors with his V-Skill if he successfully, you know, gets the V-Skill pulled off. If he successfully pulls it off. He only freaking, he only gets you in the Aegis setup if he has V-Trigger. Which he needs to either use his V-Skill enough, or needs to get hit enough in order to do it. There's three specific scenarios. And they're not easy to set up. You nerfed Urien, you nerfed his health, and I'm pretty sure they nerfed uh, his frame, yeah, they nerfed his frame data as well. Nerf Cammy on something. Nerf her walk speed, since it's too easy to shoot.
shimmy with her. No fun damage output since it's too god dang easy to hit a target combo. Oh my. Yo, but dude. I'm gonna shut up now because I've been stealing Alex's commentary. <laughs> oh god. Sorry about this, Alex's audience. I, I, I tend to go on a ramp. <laughs> Dude, I swear to God, if someone's in the comments, remember like last time, it was like, oh, I'd rather. <laughs> oh. I'd rather drink blues to listen to these two watches. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. Dude, that moment yeah, sorry, though. Sorry, sorry. I didn't mean to go on a rant, Alex. It's just, there's a lot of stuff. Nah, man, you're good, you're good. <laughs> oh God. Okay, good, good, good. I won that freaking thing. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this game is so simple. It's such a simple fight. Oh, you can bet I'm gonna show a video of me getting a perfect with Balrog. <laughs> no, seriously, this you game is so I'm gonna, simple. I'm gonna get a perfect with Bo I'm gonna show that video where I got a perfect Why? with Boxer. Why am I losing to a kid that looks so weak? A perfect. Hey, you. What are you fighting for, kid? <laughs> Balrog. Oh, God. I am fighting for... Oh, my God. <laughs> what am I fighting for? <laughs> no, this isn't happening. There's no reason for me to go on. What? Whenever uh, the guy who voiced who does Adam the Black Ranger, he did it way better. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Oh yeah. Tell someone who's willing to have a frick ton of conversations. <laughs> that would be in that would actually be pretty cool though, like for real. That would be entertaining. I would like to see how that goes. I know, right? <laughs> and then it's like we literally get into heated you rants. Dare, you dare question the urge of the almighty Jimmy! <laughs> something Alex you know how my sex talk would be like I wouldn't be someone who goes like yeah you've been bad you know what I would say I'd be like you have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people <laughs> <laughs> normal partner in bed you've been bad me and you you have committed crimes against Skyrim and her people confess <laughs> your guilt you are bad bad you are bad, man. You're a bad girl. And then you're just like, you are guilty you and you shall be punished. And people. Confess your guilt, you commoner. You fought. No, hold on. You fought. Oh, how does it go? You plush fuck doodle. Or something like that. Oh, really? God. I don't know what to say. You bloody waker. Thank you, <laughs> See, check this out, Alex. I've got a light. I've got a flashlight in my hand. Do you see this on my Skype cam? Yes. You ready for this? Yeah. Check this out. I'm Harry Potter. Lumos Maximus. <laughs> okay. Stupefy. 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 You know my dad's actually got the Harry Potter theme song as his ringtone. <laughs> oh my god. Stupefy. 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 I'm gonna give it stupefy. <laughs> Oh, it's so weird how literally whenever I'm alone, I just give like info on what I'm playing. <laughs> and, like... It sounds so lifeless. <laughs> oh, but whenever we do a video, not just you, we do a video, we scream like some retarded children. Right. <laughs> That's because we are. <laughs> like literally, in my videos, I'm just so lifeless and I'm just like giving info. Like, hey, if you don't know what this is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, hey, if like, you love me when Jay have lifeless videos, but whenever we make re like videos together, there's videos that are either too loud or we talk too freaking much. I know, right? <laughs> it's like we're literally just like, hey guys, if you <laughs> shut the fuck up. <laughs> It's like, hey, if you didn't know what this is, well, I'm gonna give you yeah. some insight on it. Yeah, and then in the comments, they're just like, shut up, man, we don't care. Just, uh, like, in the comments, you're just seeing in the, in the, in the comment section, be like, when you 
had your Boruto English stand-up movie, the, 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 the dude comes just like, SHUT THE FREAK UP! <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> that would be hilarious. <laughs> I got way too much of my mental! <laughs> Did you see Junkhood's YouTube poop though? <laughs> I have not. I saw that you uploaded one though. I'm gonna watch it. I'm gonna watch his too. Oh! Just, I've been catching up with the the news on uh, most of the stuff that's been going on, especially the one with uh, AGP. That uh, I haven't really been had time to you know catch up on stuff, man. Plus I've been busy, you know, assembling the room and moving around, and making my own content as well. I still haven't made a video where I said I'm finally moved into the new house. I need to do one of those. That's going to get put out before any of my other videos. I'm definitely going to make oh, yeah. a, a video where, you know, the, the first video that comes up in the new place is definitely going to be where I take myself around the new place and I and I, I go around. <laughs> and what I do is I film around the new house uh, before I put out any of my other videos, the face cam or the, any of the reactions that I've done. Oh, my God. Dude, why are you vibrating? So, <laughs> dude, he's just like vibrating on screen. What is happening? Uh, uh, Alex, <laughs> can I get, can I just deliver one bit of a uh, bad news? Sure. You know who uh, Angry Grandpa is? Oh, God. No, don't tell me he died. Please. Is that you? You lost your mind. He pretty much took why the words from my mouth. <laughs> yeah. And the worst part is, it was yesterday. Yesterday of all days? The Naruto yeah, Naruto beta yesterday. just came and out. The thing is, like yesterday, <laughs> the, when, the minute I saw the video, like, I haven't seen it until the day. But when I saw that the video was up, it, it was like up for like 45 minutes. Are you so kidding? Was, no. Dude, the Naruto yeah, the Boruto is, beta just came out. Why? Because I've been watching Mike since like November 2013. Why so did it like, happen? Like, Why did it have to happen today? Why did it have to happen today, huh? Seriously, I just wanted to play the Naruto to Boruto beta without worrying about anything, but now oh, Angry oh, Grandpa's gone. I'm pretty gone. sure you've heard of this. You're being thrown around EX Fighting Lair. Oh yeah, that game. Oh my yeah, god. That game has had a beta slash demo and somehow my friend has got it. Oh god, he just wrecked me. How did he hit? Oh my god, he wrecked me and I had... Uh, I'd rather take that game because like, it's either that or we get Skullamania and SF5. No, get up, get up! He just zapped me. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yes! I'm freaking dead. Hello, neighbor. The full game is out! Thank God. After going through so many... I remember before... Like, I remember when Alpha 3 was still the newest thing for Hello, Neighbor. You remember that? I remember before Alpha 4 came out. You remember? I got into watching Hello Neighbor before Alpha 4 came out. And then, like, before Alpha 4. Yeah, I'm going then, back for revenge. And then, Hello Neighbor, and then the Hello Neighbor beta. I'm wrecking this fool. now, we got the full game! Let's go! Give it some time. Yeah, screw that. I am wrecking this boy. I'm coming back and I'm going all out. Oh, I really, I rarely don't, I rarely get scared to be honest. Like, dude, if I was playing GTA San Andreas and like, dude, there was this moment, like literally, I'm not joking. It was like, oh my God, I was walking and like, you know, the place where you're supposed to steal like the rhymes or whatever. Yeah, that. Uh, yeah. I found you out of nowhere, and then gunshots started going off. I was screaming like a girl <laughs> at that moment, dude. Something like that. Dude, do you think that if there was like a swordsman in Street Fighter Five, like who made a sword as their weapon, and they used their super, do you think they would say something like, "Let me see a bullet aid" whenever they use their super? Yeah, most likely. Let me see your blade. Oh wait, you don't have one. <laughs> Yeah, something like that. Oh god, yeah, boy, what you thought this was? Nah, get, nah, nah, get wrecked, get wrecked, oh, get wrecked. Here's a character that 
that I was yeah, thinking was different in SF5 <laughs> compared to SF4. Cody! Oh yeah, Cody! We need him. Bro, he, he, we, we, we got him! He looks different! We got Cody? Yeah, he looks so different though! Cause like, you know how he looked like a prison dude in SF4? Oh yeah, he's out of prison now and he's like, final fight Cody again, yeah, right? Wow. Watch the trailer. Watch the freaking trailer. New Cody will literally blow you the frick away. Dang. Nah, boy, we have to end this off with some. Uh, yeah. I watched the new trailer recently for Blaze Blue Cross Tag Battle. It's awesome. That game, it has to have a beta. It has to. No, they don't do Arc System Works betas unless it's like Fighter Z, the only exception. Only demos, basically. Only E3 demos at conventions, and I need to mash this button real hard! Holy crap, you sound like you're mashing, bro! And, like, I can actually imagine you breaking your teeth and grinding and making that angry face. <laughs> like, that's the first time I've heard your voice get like that. Be like, I have to mash this Hold on, I have to get the controller so I can move again. <laughs> game that gets me like that where I have to actually like attempt to button mash fast enough to just wreck him because you know like how Dragon Ball Z has it where you can mash or you know rotate the analog stick no 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 with this you have to mash square like literally <laughs> like if you think this is some normal stuff no I mean hardcore mashing to like actually win Oh, bro, there's some parts where you got a hardcore mash in uh, Raging Blast 2. That game, you have to mash the frick out of that button. Well, yeah, speaking of that, I may do a, I may do a playthrough of Budokai 1 after I'm done with this. Oh, well. Let's go. Nice. Like, I seriously <laughs> might do that, you know? Because it seems like it'll be fun, you know? <laughs> a relatively yeah. fun experience. Yeah. Alright, no one's here. Okay, it's time to go to the other location. I wonder where that's at. Maybe to school? Oh, I'm so disappointed and let down by Future Tone DX. I know, right? Just Ghost Rule, one song. They gotta be kidding me. One song, one module. like. And one module, Miku's... Rainbow outfit. We're finally back in Japan. Hey, we're back in Japan! You know, she, uh, Ren and Len were around earlier than we think, because I saw some songs that were released in, like, 2009. I'm sorry, some fan-made videos that were Oh, God! It's Professor Gadget, wow, bro. bro! No, it's not Professor Gadget. It's Houdini, I guess. Uh, <laughs> Dr. Riddles. Oh, my God, he's the Riddler. That's who he is. The Riddler. Oh! 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 Um, have you seen the new thing called Batman Ninja, where they're making, yeah. like, a freaking CG Batman? Yeah, dude, that was awesome. Dude, it looks so dope. Dude, it's dude. It seems like it's gonna be something dude, awesome. Dude, the freaking fact that Joker and Nightwing, those are what got me, bro. Batman looks merely okay. Robin looks merely okay, and then there's a few other people in there that have some redesigns for that anime. But yo, the Batman it's a CGI anime. anime? Oh my god. Ah, the new designs. Okay, not Robin. Nightwing. The new designs for Nightwing. Joker. They look so freaking dope. They look sick though, dude. Dude, they look impressive, dude. If there was a Batman anime, this is how it would be done. Oh my, dude, that, dude, Batman Ninja, at least they're bringing in new concepts instead of recycling oh, old enemies and crap, like, you know what I mean? It looks like it, I'm pretty sure one of the developers who are involved with Aji. I'm pretty sure one of those uh, people was involved you mean, in this wait, project. Wait, you mean the same- It looks like- It looks like people took, like, CGI stuff from Aji and decided to make it into Batman. Oh, and it's most likely made by the same animation studio, now that I think about it. Because you know they made Transformers oh, Prime. Speaking of Aji, what do you think about it? Because if you look, Aji's are kind of like- If you realize, there could be a three-day battle between- JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, okay, so JoJo from JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, Ruby Rose, uh, not Ruby Rose, uh, Chie Satanaka from Persona, and, uh, Kei Nagai from, um, Aji Demi Human. The reason why is because 
Well, maybe not how Persona works. No, that's sure not Shonen Jump. Persona, right? Yeah, that's not Shonen Jump, I think, so the license doesn't okay. work there. But, like, if you look, Jotaro versus K. If you look at it, they're kind of similar, because only other Ajis can see IBMs, or Invisible Black Matter. Yeah, what true. they call the Black Ghosts. Only other stand users can see stands. I'm gonna do it. And that makes sense, actually. You can, you can make the odd, you can make the IBM vanish. You can make your stand vanish. You can use it to control and whatever you end up, uh, whatever damage you end up taking from an IBM, you take in real life. Whatever damage you end up taking on your stand, you take in real life. I'm sorry. So. <laughs> Jojo's stand logic and the IBM from uh, Ajin, they work so similarly. Dude, it's so weird. It's like, either it's made by the same animation studio because you know they made like Transformers Prime and all that. Sonic is a complete ripoff of DBZ. Wait, what? Yeah, because listen, um, both Sonic and Goku have a crazy girlfriend. Or, I don't know, Chi Chi's Goku's wife, but they have a crazy significant other. Um, they both have similar, they both have, uh, similar looking forms for their super. They both have seven of something that's a mystical relic that they need to collect. They both have rivals who have the same way of doing their super form as them that look also behave arrogantly and take their own pride into their hands. And they're also more cocky and dark and edgy. They both have sons from the future. Yes, apparently I found out that Silver is actually Shadow's son from a future. What? That's wrong, like actually. Silver. That's they not... They both also have the same super form. Duh. And then Chaos Emeralds got scattered throughout the universe, or Galaxy. Uh, I can't remember if it was Galaxy dude, Universe. I think you they got that wrong. They come across robots who are also looking for them that they need to fight. Dragon Ball GT. The Black Star Dragon Balls get scattered across the universe. They need to go looking for them. When they come across other aliens and fleets that they need to find them, they're also looking for them. I think you got that wrong, dude. Uh, Silver isn't Shadow Sun. Silver doesn't exist. What's that timeline I read there? Yeah, that's actually, yeah, that's some misconstrued timeline, I think, because Shadow never had a son. I read that off some canon stuff, man. Shadow never had a son, like, ever. Even in the comics, he never had a son, so I don't know where his silver came from in that timeline, but that's screwed up, for sure. And what timeline did I read? Uh, some fan timeline, most likely. That's not a fan timeline, I read that off of something like canon. Because... Unless, somehow, Sega wants me to get confused. I don't uh, know. Yeah, actually, nah, Sega wouldn't have done that. They would have made, like, a game or something, or it would have been in the comics, most likely. Something. Someone you had mean... to write it, because I read that timeline. Apparently, it was official, is what I was told. Uh? But, like, well. I... Continuing on what I was saying. Yeah, but Mechalus is Shadow all Shadow. Three, quite literally. Remember, all three of them... Well, I mean, maybe they're not even sons from the future. But still, Silver is from the future. Yeah, least. yeah, that makes sense. Like, Silver being from the future, maybe yeah. Not, maybe not, maybe not Shadow Sun. The Shadow Sun connection see, does like, not... Rick told me that that was real. But, Silver being from the future, who also can use the same super form. Trunks from the... From the future, even though he's Vegeta's son, still can use the same super form. They both have threats in their future timeline. They need to go back to the past to fix them. Trunks had a timeline in the future that was absolute hell. He needs to go back in the past to fix it. Although their motivations were different, it's still the same goal. Be it true. What else? <laughs> what else? Oh yeah, both Sonic and Goku had characters that were their rivals for a short while until they got replaced by a more powerful character. More on that, you see someone like Krillin, Yamcha, maybe even Tien, until it got replaced with someone like Vegeta. Shadow, okay, so Sonic's main rival is like Knuckles, until it got replaced with Shadow, who's an overall strong. We can do it, Kyo. Yeah. They don't both have families or kids of their own. That's the only difference. True. <laughs> but... They're both stubborn. They are. Definitely. Sonic, Sonic just... 
He just wants to go fast. Goku just wants to fight and get stronger.